Hello viewers and welcome to another segment of Focus on Your Health. I am Rose and today on Focus on Your Health we have another great topic for you. This topic is called HIV and AIDS. Do you know your status? And please help me welcome back Dr. Charleston. How are you Dr. Charleston? I'm doing good Rose. Thank well you. great, great. We are so happy to have you back and I know you have brought us a lot of great information on this subject. So let's start with our first question now. There has been a lot of misconception about these two words. Please help me help the audience understand the difference between HIV and AIDS. What are the differences? Okay, HIV and AIDS are, well, first of all, HIV is what is a virus that you catch. Okay. And AIDS is uh, acquired immune def immunodeficiency syndrome. But what happens is you, we normally will catch the virus. You have to have the virus. You catch the virus like you would catch any other virus, like the cold virus, for mm -hmm. instance. And then when it does enough destruction to your immune system uh, to the point where your body's not able to fight infections, then we call it AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the main the difference. So you first catch HIV and then it, it progresses into AIDS. Well, that's great information. Now. Um, my next question is, how is HIV transmitted? Well, through bodily fluids. That's the best way to, to say it, because bodily fluids, anything uh, that in your body that you, know, that you uh, come in contact with someone else, where it's fluid to fluid, then you can um, catch it. So that includes any, any I mean, some fluids are more uh, easier to, to get it than, than others but mainly blood is the main transmission. Mm -hmm. But then we know you could get it uh, you know, through sexual uh, contact and through cuts. If someone has an open cut, there's another way because then it's exposing the, the person's fluids. So those are the, the main ways to get, to get it. How about, since you say body fluid, would it be safe to kiss somebody who has AIDS and you don't? Well, you see, there's different degrees of kissing a person. You know, just kissing somebody on the lips Okay. I've, I haven't. I don't know of any cases where that's been the case of transmission. Um, there's, but if someone has a cut, definitely, or maybe have, uh, uh, what do you? People normally have uh, herpes yeah. uh, of the mouth or whatever, where there's an open sore. You know that definitely. You don't want to, you know, be kissing someone like that. So it, it, it. You know, I have it. Like I said, I don't know of any documented cases of kissing, but there's different levels of kissing. Of course, if someone bleeds and they're, they're good, they have uh, uh, gum diseases, yes. you wouldn't want to, you know, be kissing someone like that because then the blood will be one way that you'll be in contact. Yeah. Exactly. Now, so how important it is that in our society that people do go out and get tested and know their status? It's very important because with like with any other uh, diseases or, you know, we've talked about uh, different topics exactly. where... When it's going to make a difference in as far as how long you live with the, with the virus, you know, such as in AIDS uh, or HIV, we know that there's, uh, there's medication that the person can take exactly. to prolong their lives or give them a better quality of life. So it's definitely important to uh, be tested uh, regularly, especially if you have a change of partners, if you with someone that maybe is an IV drug use or, uh, user. Um, you know that you do get tested periodically and um, you know to catch it early so the earlier you catch it the less uh, destruction there'll be in your Im immune system and then the easier it'll be to to help uh, you know keep you at a level that it's not affecting your life because the okay. medications are very effective okay um, now um, we had conversation about previously about a, a woman that is expecting or um, has given birth to uh, um, a, a child. So how important is it for them to get tested? We want to get that information out there. Yeah, it's very important. Um, one of the things is usually when a woman's pregnant, uh, while she's carrying uh, that child, she has rights most of the times over the child and with the t decisions that are made. But once that child is out, uh, when she's given birth, um, you know, the, the decision is no longer really hers. Um, then, uh, you know, the courts at times or the doctor can uh, influence the courts to make certain decisions. Exactly. It's very important 
It's because the woman, when she's pregnant, she has rights over that, 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 uh, that embryo. It's very important that a woman do get tested, but normally they'll, it'll be your, it's always your choice to be chest tested uh, for the virus. But if you're found to be positive, then um, there are medications that can be given while you're pregnant. And of course, after you've uh, delivered the child, they'll give another dose that can uh, really uh, minimize the, the chance of having the transmission. Another important thing is breastfeeding. That's not, uh, that's, that's not uh, that's contraindicated when someone uh, is HIV positive. But a mother has the right to refuse, but just understand, you know, the child, should have that right so the, when a mother's making the decision of not being tested yes. they're not being really fair to that child exactly exactly we know that audience we are going to come back for part two of next week of hiv and aids we're going to start with the signs and symptoms of hiv but dr charleston do you have any final words for our audience before we actually break for next week yeah i will say i mean you know the the aids awareness I remember when, uh, you know, in the 80s and early 90s, uh, you know, people talked about it a lot. There were a lot of stigmas, uh, you know, and people usually think, oh, you know, I'm a heterosexual, I'm not homosexual, so therefore I'm exempt. But that's no longer the case. You know, you have uh, heterosexuals, you have homosexuals, and you have the elderly actually is a, wow. is a group where, where it's found that, you know, in the nursing homes that they're catching a lot of new new um uh a lot of people with the uh with the virus wow. so no one is exempt so it's definitely uh something that you should talk to your doctor about you know getting tested again the fact that you know we have enough to to keep someone on a healthy healthy level it's worth getting the test because then you know it's even though we don't have a cure but the medications that are out there are enough to, to give you a, a good quality of life. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Dr. Charleston, and stay tuned with us so we can go ahead and do part two of okay. this um, topic. But audience, remember, it is very important to know your status and get tested. So please bear with us while and tune back to us next week while we talk about, continue to talk about this information and get you all the information that you actually need to keep yourself healthy for this upcoming new year and even more just for your family and you yourself too. So stay focused and stay healthy. We'll see you next week.